St. John's Lutheran. So let's give him a round of applause, gentlemen. Praise God, praise God. If you guys see, there's this tape right here that I put down that runs. Let's make sure that we're on this side of the tape, please. Thank you. And if you can, and if you're in line, if you would, just please face me. The title of today's message is, Today You Are On Trial, Gentlemen. Today You Are On Trial. I got the gavel here, which we're all familiar with, I'm sure, at one point or another, right? And we know what happens when courts adjourn and when courts in session. So, gentlemen, today we will hold court. And instead of Jesus being on trial, as many of us has done with their disbelief before us, and as many of us do today, and what I mean by that is every one of us have questioned at some point, Jesus, are you who you say you are? Jesus, are you truly the son of the living God? Jesus, are you the Messiah? And if God tarries, as many do today, many will do in the years to come, gentlemen. I will put each of you on trial instead of him, which we have, before the courtship of the living God according to his living act of word. Lest you stand guilty now in hopes that you will be saved today. <laughs> Today, each of you are being charged before the Father in heaven. The prosecuting attorney is the enemy, Satan, who is the accuser of the brethren, who stands in his court accusing each of you of your sins before the Holy Father, that you may be found guilty as charged and be sentenced to everlasting death. Today, gentlemen, Satan presents evidence against each of you before the court, which are the following, your sins, your inner sinful thoughts, your desires, your intentions of the heart, your very own unspoken and spoken words and actions and deeds. Every charge that is called out from this podium, if you are guilty, take one small step forward. This is why I have the tape here. Take one small step forward this way as these are called out. You will not lose your place in line. So hold on, gentlemen. I haven't called anything. So go ahead and just stay on this side of the line. But as these charges are called out, if you're guilty of these charges, take one step forward. Okay? So God is the judge and the jury. And this afternoon, January 14, 2023, court is now in session. Each of you are being charged with the following. Count one, using the name of God in vain. If you used it, take one step. Thank you, brother. Count two, stealing or lying. Count three, bearing false witness. Count four, lusted after a woman in your heart. Count five, having hate for somebody. Count six, coveting, which is desiring what belongs to another. Count seven, drunkenness and lewdness. Count eight, disbelief in Jesus. Thank you, brother, for moving. Thank you. Count nine, non-forgiveness. And the final count is hatred and anger and the desires of the world. Now, gentlemen, stay where you're at. Stay where you're at and look around you. Just take a quick look. There's not one, really not one left standing where they were. There's a few, but most of us have taken a step forward. Most of us have. And based on the steps that you just took forward by your own admission and your own guilt, 
you are found guilty on every charge. Guilty. And God, the judge and the jury, finds you guilty as charged. And your sentence, gentlemen, your sentence is death. Spiritual death. Separation from God for all eternity where there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You see, when you get to hell, gentlemen, God forbid, when you get to hell and you're found guilty, you won't have enough tears to cry. Weeping, according to the word of God. Why do you think Jesus spoke about hell the most? Because it's hopeless. There's pain and agony for all those who are found guilty. But, but gentlemen, for those who stepped out, I got good news for you. Each of you, each of you have been assigned a public defender whose name is Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father. His name is Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us, gentlemen, who intercedes for each of you and asks the Father, Father, when you stand there before the judgment seat of Christ and you're found guilty for your sins, he says, Father, Father, may I approach the bench? And he walks up to the Father on your behalf right now, and he says, if they repent of their sins from the heart, having a contrite and broken spirit, admitting their guilt and their sins, if they believe in me as Lord and Savior, they believe in my life, death, and resurrection, and if they love me and keep my commandments, the charges against them will be dismissed without prejudice before this court. And God looks at his son and he says, sustained, granted, approved. So plaintiffs who took a step forward, the choice is now yours. Do you want to be found guilty or do you want to be found innocent before a holy God? Jesus is looking intently to each and one of your eyes. He looks intently into your eyes, gentlemen. Because he can see to your heart. And he says, choose you this day, life or death. Take a hard look where you're at, gentlemen. Because if you were dead before the judgment throne, each of you would be found guilty, guilty, guilty. You'd be condemned found guilty and therefore judgment would be just and righteous before the father and he would be blameless in his judgment because it wouldn't have been him it's each and every one of you and the decisions that you made but today as you still draw breath you can be prepared for judgment you can be prepared for the court day before the father and the son start today if you want to be prepared and ask for forgiveness for those of you who took steps forward by your own admission and not mine, but by the law, each one of you realize that you are guilty. How many want to be saved today and ask for repentance that you may stand innocent before a holy father? Praise God. Keep Raise your hands up. Don't be shy. Raise your hands up. Pastors, preachers, teachers, I need some of the stewards. Please come forth. We need to... We need, we need these people to be prayed with. Raise your hands, gentlemen. Don't be shy. Please, raise your hands. We, this is very important. Stewards, trustees, volunteers, please come and get them. Raise your hands, gentlemen. The time is now. The time is now. And for those of you who refuse to repent or believe and who didn't take any steps forward, the court places you on paperwork. 
You're on paperwork and you now are on probation. Let me explain this, gentlemen. Every second that you draw breath, by the grace of God, every morning he allows you to open up your eyes. You are hereby given the court an opportunity to repent, believe, and surrender your life to Christ Jesus. You will be monitored. And God forbid you pick up additional charges and felonies, gentlemen. Because one day, one day, your probation may be revoked. And the heartbeat that you once had, the heartbeat, gentlemen, The heartbeat that you once had. Will stop. It will stop. And you will find yourself standing in this courtship for judgment. Similar to what we demonstrated today. <coughs> for it is appointed unto man to die once and then the judgment. Before the judge and the jury, God Almighty, you will be found guilty, violating probation, and required to serve your sentence. And there is no appeal process, gentlemen, and there is no release date. And judgment will be passed, and it's eternal separation from God. Now, again, if there's anybody who didn't raise their hand, who wants to raise their hand, raise your hand. Okay. Father, let's go to prayer, gentlemen. Father God, Lord Jesus, we just thank you for this opportunity to speak to these gentlemen today. Father God, let this illustrate to their heart. Let them understand that there is a judgment that's coming upon the world, upon everybody. And we all have to stand before you and give an account of our lives, Lord Jesus. Please let the love of the truth be found in them and let them come to the truth. For you are the way, you are the truth. And you are the life. And no one comes to the Father but by you. So let this pull their strings of the heart, Father God. And let them seek you when they got opportunity before the breath is taken. In the mighty name of Christ Jesus, we all say, Amen. Amen. Good to see you.